What will happen if you or your spouse suffers a stroke or is stricken with Alzheimer's and needs long-term care in the future? In many cases, the wife will take care of the husband at home. But in most cases, it's the husband who dies first. And then who's going to care for the wife? How is she going to pay for that care? Um, here with little known tips to protect you and your family is my law partner, Mike Solomon. Uh, hi, Lori. So welcome to the show, talking about a very serious topic. Right. Now, I know when one spouse becomes ill, the other spouse is typically going to do everything that they can to keep that spouse at home. Right. It's, um, you know, it, this happens a lot with our clients. When, uh, let's say, the a husband goes in, into a long-term care facility, the wife will go through heroic efforts just to, to keep them out of the nursing home and, and obviously vice versa. So it's, it's when they're married, they usually do everything they can to keep that situation uh, at home. All right, we see a lot of families are dealing with right. that. But what happens after that first spouse dies? Well, you know, usually, and let me give you an example, usually it's the husband that passed away first. Unfortunately, that's the statistics the way they are. So the husband goes in, the wife's now alone, and now if she has a health problem and has to go into a long-term care facility, there's no one at home to take care of her. Sure. So now she's going to have to go into a facility, and those can be very expensive. The cost can range anywhere from $80,000 to $100,000 a year, and that can wipe out someone's life savings Truly in a matter out, of years. Yeah. Yes. So because of that, does it make sense for the wife to look at purchasing long-term care insurance? Well, in some cases it does. Now, here's a problem that we've been running into recently. The, the, uh, the cost, the premium cost for long-term care insurance for women tends to be higher than for men, and that's for a couple of reasons. Number one, I already mentioned that women tend to survive their husbands, so they, when, when the problems arise, they're the ones who tend to go to the long-term care facilities, and plus, they have a longer life expectancy, so the claims are larger. So, so the premiums can end up being a lot larger for women for long-term care insurance. Okay, so if you're saying they're more expensive, how much more expensive would a policy for a woman be? Well, you know, that can vary per company, but it could be as much as 50% more premium, so it's My a lot. Goodness. Yes. That, wow, that's really high. So what can a woman do to cut those costs? Well, you know, there's two ways possibly to handle this. Number one, when the husband and wife, they should buy the policies, go in at the same time and buy it, many insurance companies will give you a discount. It could be anywhere around, uh, you know, 30% uh, of the, of the uh, savings if you go in together. The other option is they get a shared plan. Basically what that is, is they're buying it together and the benefit is, is a joint benefit. So for example, let's say they get six years coverage. They can use it either way. Either one, they can mix and match how they want to use it for each other. So let's say the husband goes in a long-term care facility first, survives a year there, he's used one year of their six-year benefit, the wife still has five years left after that. Oh, that sounds like a, a great option. Right. So that can bring that cost down and also give them, because the husband may not use it as long as the wife may need it, gives you a, a good way to kind of split those costs up. Right. That's fantastic. So that's really good information. Um, nursing home insurance is really expensive, now more than ever for women. But you may be able to cut the costs by following Mike's advice. For more information about this, give Mike Solomon a call. Call Butish, Solomon, Steiner, and Peck at 1-888-236-5173 for more information or to schedule a speaker for your organization. We also offer free CEUs and CCMs for nurses, social workers, and case managers. Or log on to www.bsslaw.com. Thanks for joining us. On next week's show, Shopping for Health Insurance, we'll list what to look for, um, then why exercising plop and drop are moves that can help your retirement plans. Is the sweet smell of spring causing sinus suffering? Our advice is nothing to sneeze at. Plus, we'll meet a man with a plan to celebrate our city. And should you pay off your mortgage or keep the cash? Until then, please remember to make the most of your golden opportunities. Would you like to join our kitchen conversation? All you have to do is call toll-free 1-877-765-1543 and leave us your question, name, and phone number. Or log on to www.golden.tv for all the latest information and show updates.